Welcome to today's video and today I will be reviewing the Greg Knuckles bench press program. So let me record my screen and I will start talking about the program right away because it will be a quite long video and I want to move at a faster pace. If you have searched for this program then you might be already be familiar with Greg Knuckles so I will not talk about him. But basically I will link in the description below the site strongerbyscience.com where I have found the program. So here on the screen you enter the site, you subscribe to the newsletter, you type in your email and then you can download the spreadsheet. So that's what I did and then you just download it and you have here a zip file and then just extract on your desktop and you get these four files one pdf and one excel so basically excel is the spreadsheet and pdf is the notes so i have opened here the notes on the pdf and by the way if you have stumbled upon this video make sure to click that red subscribe button i would appreciate it a lot and now let's move on to the Greg Knuckles bench press program review. So as you see the PDF file is very long. You have here 14 pages of text so you can read through it. But basically I will mention here the most important points about this program. So basically in total in the spreadsheet you will find 28 programs and they each concentrate on a particular lift so the bench the deadlift and the squat i'm making here a bench press review video so i will be only talking about the bench press of course so these routines focus on one lift only but you can combine a couple of them so maybe you can do the bench combine with the squat or the deadlift or some other program with it whatever it's all your personal choice but I'm only interested here in the bench. So you will find the term here AMAP. It stands for as many as possible. So as many reps as possible. And you perform them with good form. When your form starts to break down, then the set is over. And basically these will be used to adjust training weights for the next week. Mostly on beginner and intermediate routines. Here you can see a little bit more explanation of how it will be counted. Then you will do some 10 rep maxes, 8, 5, 3 rep maxes. So basically here the calculation. But we will just go straight to the Excel and check it out. Isolation work basically depends from person to person. So you can add some isolation if you prefer but don't go adding a lot of heavy compounds basically do some simple isolation like curls tricep extensions delt raises hamstring curls etc etc so not tax yourself focus on the main movement on the bench and then add some isolation so here is another interesting point any of the bench programs would also work for OHP if that's your press of choice. So I'm interested in increasing my OHP. So I like that you can also program the OHP with this program. And if you have a lift there, for example, that doesn't agree with you, you have some injury or other issues, then you can switch it to a similar exercise. And here it starts talking about the 28 programs in detail. So basically starting off with the bench and it will be broken down by beginner, intermediate, advanced and frequency. So benching one time a week, two times a week, three times a week. And here you can read in detail about each program and basically choose whatever program fits your needs so whether you want to bench one time a week two times a week three times a week and are you a beginner advanced or intermediate guy and the same with the squat and deadlift but basically i'm not that interested in these and here at the end you will find some program suggestions and basically most of the time 
I have seen here for beginners, intermediates, Greg Knuckles suggest to train three times a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday with a day off in between and taking Saturday and Sunday off. For example, if you want to specialize on the bench, here's a template of the program. So basically bench three times a week, start with the intermediate one, then do two times squats per week and two deadlifts per week. And you can structure it as follows, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. As you see, three workouts per week. Anyways, that's the whole PDF. And now let's move on to the main program, which is written on the Excel. So open the Excel and here you can see you start with the sheet maxes and here you must enter your one rep maxes. So for the bench, let's say 225 pounds. Now the rounding, if you use kilograms, then put in two and a half. If you use pounds, then five. And then just start here at the bottom, whatever sheet you want to choose. So you have here, for example, bench, 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 bench. So these are all the bench press programs. And then you have here the frequency. So one, 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 they are standing for benching one time a week here, two X, two X, two X, two times a week. And then moving on to the right three times a week. And then you have here written either beginner, intermediate or advanced. So let's just check out a couple of these. For example, let's say you are a beginner and for beginner, I wouldn't recommend training the bench like here one time a week. That's a little bit too little volume. If you are a bit serious, you should bench at least two times a week, but ideally three times a week. So let's check out just one beginner program to keep this video pretty short. So let's say three times per week beginner. So it's this one. And this is how the program is structured. So we have here day one, two and three. So three workouts per week. As we did see from the PDF, he suggests training on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So day one starts with the bench press. First we do our warm up each day and then we start off with 70% of our one rep max and we perform two sets with eight repetitions. And then if we check out the following days, so on day number two, two sets with six repetitions and day number three, two sets with four repetitions. So the sets will stay the same and the reps will go down. And as you see, the weight is also increasing from 155 to 165 to 180 pounds. And the second exercise will be the bench press once again, but we will perform this AMAP as many as possible. So with this weight, we will do one set and as many as possible each time on Monday, here again on Wednesday and again on Friday. And here's the explanation. If you got eight or fewer reps on your AMAP set, then stick with the same weight from the prior week. So basically, if you have managed to do here only eight repetitions, then for the next week, for week number two, you will stick with the same weight. And then your goal is to do more than eight here. And if you got nine or 10 reps, increase by five pounds. If you got 11 to 12, increase by 10 pounds. If you got more than 12 reps, increase by 15 pounds. And for the Wednesday, it's the same, but here the reps are a little bit different. So here you must do more than six Friday, more than four. So if I understand this correctly for a beginner, basically you will always perform the two sets at the beginning, always eight reps, and then you will have your third set and you will perform as many reps as possible. And let's say you 
managed to do here more than eight then the next week you will start with 160 so 160 pounds then you will try once again if you fail then you will leave 160 if you manage to do more than eight then you move to 165 and it goes on and on and on so basically that's the beginner program benching three times a week a very clear progression which is a linear one and yeah looks decent why not for a beginner it is important that you bench pretty frequently now let's look at uh, another program that would suit a little bit more of my interests so i'm looking for a intermediate program and i have here a couple of options i can either choose the intermediate program that lets me bench one times a week that's not interesting so i'm left with this one two times per week that's the first choice or i can choose an intermediate program that has me benching three times a week so it would be this one and it has either medium or high so i assume that's the intensity so right now i am more interested in benching three times a week so let's check out this three times a week intermediate program so three days of course and let's see how the bench press is structured here so week one day number one we will start off with the bench with a five by five 75 percent of our one rep max okay moving on we have some curls so most likely bicep curls pretty interesting so not much to see about this let's move on to day number two we start off with the bench once again warm up then we will perform one set with eight reps at 50 percent then increasing the weight each time by 10 percent relative to our one rep max and then in total we have here one two three four six sets and the reps are decreasing and the weight stays under 80 percent of our one rep max and on the third workout we will do a bench once again and we will start off with this as many as possible reps and basically this will dictate also the weights that we will be using for further workouts so the goal is to get more than eight reps and then we can increase by five pounds if we get more than 12 reps then by 10 pounds so we start off with this testing as many as possible and then it moves on straight to the accessories so we can do some curls pull-ups pull-downs whatever for three sets by eight okay so it seems on the friday workout we will be doing only one bench and basically testing whether we can increase the weight and here if you look on here week one max week two max with week three max it did increase by five pounds each week so i assume if you don't manage to hit here more than eight reps then you will enter here 225 and basically then you will have to perform a lighter version of the next week but if you manage to do more then enter 230 now let's check out the uh, week number two so it starts off with the bench once again uh four by three with 80 percent this time and then a three by six with 75 percent and then once again on wednesday benching each time increasing the weight and the reps are decreasing and on friday we will always do this test here only one set and basically this lets us increase the 
pounds. And moving on to week number three and four, here's the typing error, which should say week number four. And basically, you start off always with the bench, Wednesday also bench, same structure, and Friday this as many as possible, bench test, and then some accessories. And on week number four, so the duration of the program is four weeks with three workouts per week. And here it says you can either do this test or basically work up to a new one rep max. So if I'm looking at this program, it focuses mainly on the bench press and then it has a couple of accessories. For example, here the curls. And on Friday, we can also do some pull-ups, pull-downs, whatever. Basically, I would take it only for the bench and then the accessories, I would do uh, another program that programs the accessories. Because here, if you perform some curls, some pull-ups, it will not have like a massive effect on your bench. But I like the bench press structure for sure. And now let's check out, for example, the three times per week bench, but a high intensity program. So once again, three workouts per week. And here it starts with warm up, and then we do a five by five on the bench. And then we move on to the close grip bench press. So I like here that the close grip bench press is programmed and basically it's based on the one rep max of our bench and it starts with a little bit lower 60% so we cannot bench in the close grip fashion that much like in a regular bench so a little bit less percentages. And then on the Wednesday it has only the bench so basically Monday will look like follows, starting off with the bench, after that performing always the close grip, finish off with some curls. And on the Friday, you will do once again, start off with the bench, a two by three, a three by four, a five by four, and the duration is four weeks. So here you will test only on week number four, as many reps as possible. And here on week number one, two, and three, you will stick with the same weight. And the accessories, on Friday, you can have a triceps extension of your choice. Then you can do some dumbbell press, dips, or flies, whatever. Then some curls, pull-ups, pull-downs. So basically the accessories are very broad. You can choose whatever fits you best and basically just do the bench do the close grip and then a couple of accessories or combine it with another program and i assume it would be also okay if you don't do the close grip bench press for example but but you switch out this to the overhead press so that should also be acceptable so basically that's the greg knuckles bench press program in a nutshell you have here a uh, big excel file and you have a lot of programs to choose from but basically the principle is as follows you start off with choosing a program regarding your training experience so whether you are a beginner intermediate or advanced lifter and then you pick a frequency how many times per week you want to bench one time, two time, or three times per week. And then you choose the corresponding sheet. And there you'll find how the bench is programmed, how much weight should you use, how many sets, how many reps, what are the accessory exercises. The duration is four weeks. You have these as many reps as possible sets to test whether you can add weight or not. And basically now, the only thing is left to test out the program. So I will link a card above to my training to a 315 bench series. There I am documenting my road to a 315 bench. 
and sooner or later I will give this program a shot and you can follow along these vlogs to see what kind of results did I get from this program. So this is the program. I hope you have enjoyed watching the video and see you soon next time. Bye.